Listen, I mean, they, they are, they, they do dominate this category. We were lucky enough to get them a couple years ago. I think one other show has. Uh, but, you know, the truth is for everybody here, for all these great producers and the 500 plus people that work on this show, we're on twice a year on NBC. We're just a small fraction of the amount of people that, that, that made this happen. And, and you know, being on twice a year is, just, is a lot of work. It's a great show. And we're to feel very fortunate to be in the same category as those other shows, not to mention to get the win, so. You know, I think The Voice managed to reinvent music competitions with a level of um, kindness and dignity um, there was in the, in the past, it was tearing people down for fun and it worked. Uh, times have changed. The voice is kinder and the coaches get so personally invested in these people. Think of it, these people have come from all over America. They're great singers in their own communities and they're now on the big stage. They're working with artists that they never thought they would ever, ever meet. And these superstar coaches really, really care. And uh, we're so grateful to the coaches and all the contestants. Blake Shelton has most of them living in his house. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yes, but to answer your question, yes, they do. They have, they take on relationships from, you know, going into the studio and working together. There's lots of examples of once the show is over, the relationship flourishes even more off camera. It's like I sit on the stage, you know, I get a lot of credit, but actually it's the teams, it's, the, it's these people and on each show, there are incredible teams of people that are working their asses off and really caring. And the trick is, and every American entrepreneur that's really made it knows, find people who are better than you and let them do their job. You're terminated. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's, uh, listen, Celebrity Apprentice is a great, great franchise worldwide. And uh, clearly a, a change had to be made. And, uh, so grateful that Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has taken over. Everybody's speculating what his line will be uh, when he fires people. But he's a lot of fun. He loves the show. And he's really, really engaged in a huge way already. So there'll be a, another NBC show. You know, the network's in charge. But you know, in the end, we all know, all of us who are producing the show know that when you have an hour or two hours of American primetime TV. You have to treat that like you're making a $150 million movie. We don't treat this any different than making Ben-Hur right now. And so whether you're on two nights a week or one night a week, whether you're on two hours or one hour, the cream does rise to the top. The American viewing public are super smart. It's harder and harder to engage them to watch when it's running live. And a show like The Voice successfully does that. I mean, this is young America's favorite show. And um, whether it, it runs 90, 90 episodes a year, and people just love it. And, and we love it, and it's these guys behind me who make it.